Hello and welcome to STEM with the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Jolie and today we're going to make copper reactions. So this activity is intended for ages nine and up and for this activity you are going to need 10 pennies, one steel nail, vinegar, salt, paper towels, some bowls, uh, maybe a measuring cup, and a teaspoon. So the first part of it, our experiment, we're going to go ahead and set up and then I'm going to kind of explain it because it's going to take a little time to go on. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your 10 pennies and I'm going to put them into the measuring cup because it's clear and easier to see this way. So you're just going to toss those in there. And then we're going to pour just enough vinegar in there to get them all completely covered. So I've got some vinegar in here, make sure they're all covered. Yeah. And this is where your salt and your teaspoon come in. You're going to need about half a teaspoon, so it doesn't have to be totally full of salt. And then you're going to stir those around, get all that salt dissolved in the vinegar. Now you may already be noticing a few things going on at this point in our experiment. Namely, that our pennies have actually started changing color. Uh, it might be a little hard to see. There we go. Yeah. All right. So we're actually going to let these set for 10 minutes because we want to give our reaction a good amount of time to occur. So here's what's going to be going on, all right? Everything is made out of atoms, and they like to join together in different ways and form different compounds, right? So in a chemical reaction, atoms can separate, they can swap partners, they can form new compounds. Pennies are super shiny when they're new, but they get duller and more brown over time because the copper is reacting with the oxygen in the air and it forms what's called copper oxide. Vinegar contains um, acidic acid, all right, which splits in water to release positively charged hydrogen atoms. We also call those hydrogen ions, all right? These react with the copper oxide, and they actually strip it from the pennies and reveal the shiny layer of pure copper that's underneath. So that's why even just in the little bit of time that we've done this, we can see that our pennies should have gotten a lot shinier because all that copper oxide is coming off and being re and just revealing the layer underneath, all right? The salt simply helps us speed up this reaction, all right? So now we're gonna give these about 10 minutes so the reaction can um, complete and then we'll see what happens next. All right, our pennies have been sitting in their solution for 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull one out. There we go. And let's see if we can get, and this is one that we did not put in the solution. So there you can see the change, the different colors. So this one is more brown, while the one that we put in the solution is much shinier and a lighter color. All right, that's because we took the copper oxide off. So we're gonna take the pennies out and we're gonna set them off to the side. I'm gonna put them over here on this paper towel. So we're gonna use that in just a minute. So we're gonna pull these all out of the solution, just kind of set them over here. Cause we're gonna get to them again in just a second. I'm actually going to pour my solution that's in my measuring cup over into a bowl that's going to do better for my nail to go in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that steel nail and we're just going to put it into that solution as much as we can. Let me see if I can get that in there a little better. There we go. So there we go. My whole nail is not actually in the solution, but that'll actually let us see what happens to the parts that are in it versus out of it a little bit. My nail is really long. <laughs> okay, 
So what we're doing with the nail here is it's steel, which is a mixture of several different elements, but mostly iron. And so some of the iron atoms from the nail surface are actually going to dissolve in this vinegar, salt, and copper solution. And some of the copper atoms from the solution that came off the surface of the pennies is going to attach itself to the nail instead. And so our nail is actually going to turn copper colored. All right, so this reaction, we're gonna need to give it about 20 minutes. So we're gonna put this off to the side. And we're going to come back to our pennies. So I've got them sitting in a plastic container with a paper towel in it. And we're actually going to add a little bit of vinegar. We want the paper towel to be a little damp with vinegar. We don't want it to be overly, but we want it to kind of get a little damp under the pennies. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take some salt, I've put mine in this little container, and we're going to put the salt on top of the pennies. And you can do a pretty good thick layer right there on top of your pennies. You can do this to one or two, or you can do it to all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them real quick. I just wanna put a nice little pile of salt on top of each of our shiny pennies. We're actually going to undo all that work we did. We're gonna make them not shiny anymore. But it's so that we can see another type of reaction. Got the pink girl on top of it. Okay. There we go, that should be good. All right, so what's gonna happen in this reaction is uh, when you leave a penny covered in salt and vinegar for a really long time, a chemical reaction uh, takes place. The salt is made of the elements sodium and chlorine. The chlorine reacts with the copper and it produces a chemical compound called basic copper chloride. All right, and this color, this compound has a really bright blue-green color. Now this reaction is gonna take a little longer than our nail. It's gonna take probably closer to an hour, um, sometimes even two, while our nail is only gonna take about 20 minutes. So we will check back in with our nail in 20 minutes and then we'll check back in with our pennies in an hour all right so it has been 20 minutes and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the nail out and if you look very closely you can see there is a color difference between where it was in the solution and where it was not in the solution so you can see that slight color difference all right, that's because those copper um, atoms have adhered themselves to it, which has actually changed the color of the nail slightly. All right, so now that that is finished, we only have one more part of our experiment left to go. At this point, you might be able to see the beginnings of a reaction, but it's still gonna take it some more time. So I will see you guys again when our final reactions have had time to occur. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour and a half since we first put the salt on our pennies. And as you can see, we are beginning to get that bright blue green color that is copper chloride, all right? So a fun fact about the reaction that we've created here, that color may be a little bit familiar because it is one of the reactions that actually gives the Statue of Liberty her unique blue-green color. All right, so I hope you guys have had fun making pennies shiny again, putting a layer of copper onto a steel nail and creating copper sulfide with me today. 
Please remember to make sure that you share photos of your activity online and tag us using hashtag I love HPL. Thank you so much for joining us for STEM at the Houston Public Library. We'll see you next time. Bye.